Come here. Wait a minute. This man went for a takedown in a boxing match. This man was rough and rowdy 10 years before its creation. Payback's a bitch. Why are you running? He must have went to El Chapo University. Why he keep trying to escape? He hasn't looked his opponent in the eye in over a minute. Why are you running? Why are you running? I got you you done lost the fight when the referee palmed the top of your head he done whispered in his ear and told him to go and clock out the fight game ain't for you who swindled this man into getting into the ring he spent more time looking at the floor than his opponent how was your defense that of a roach running away when the lights come on considering his speed while trying to escape he would have made for a hell of an amazon prime employee this man is inhaling testicular air all while taking his opponent's gloves homie is the living embodiment of trying to run away from your problems. You would have thought he was trying to be Stone Cold Steve Austin the way he went to every single turnbuckle. And that's the battle man for Stone Cold Sexton. Victory is mine. Round one, fight. Lightskin making his pro boxing debut, but that man just button mashing. Man's got no technique, just throw fists, ask questions later. Fuck. Ew, get off of me. Jesus Christ, son. You better get your ass serious, you little bastard. Come here. Do it. Took a nap. You have to go night night, nigga. You have to go night night, nigga. Everybody go night night, nigga. What's the matter? You're the one who started this game, and now you don't want to play anymore. Fuck! What did this man think was gonna happen? He never guarded his face. Finish him. This might have been one of the fastest transition between jobs we've ever seen in history. From boxes to Sleepy's associate within seconds. Trust Sleepy's for the rest of your life. Some of them going to sleep. For God! It's my turn! I can't let you get close. Oh, what are you going to do now, big boy? Oh, my head. Ah! What is going on? What the fuck? What happened? It's up to you. Do you want to continue or not? Uh, I don't really feel like it. What? I quit! I quit! This isn't what we agreed upon. If you've never seen somebody take a dive before, this is the epitome of HMO8. Man's out here moving like somebody knocked the batteries out of his back. I've seen haircuts that's inflicted more damage to the head than that left jab. Studies have shown this brother was hit with the force of a quarter of a mosquito bite, but somehow that was enough to put his big ass down. He must have went to Eddie Guerrero University, cuz... Don't forget my motto is said, I lie, I cheat, I steal! Mans must have bet his entire house on him taking an L and was guaranteeing himself a payday. If you're gonna throw the fight, don't make it this obvious. This man advanced forward and dropped himself into the shadow realm. The following announcement has been paid for. Hey fellas, the holiday season is upon us and it's about time you give yourself the gift of grooming and self-care and I've got something special for you to take your grooming game to a whole other level. Let me introduce you to the Manscaped Performance Package 5.0 Ultra. First and foremost, the performance package includes the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. And let's not forget the Weed Whacker 2.0, which is perfect for trimming those unruly nose and ear hairs. My father's notorious in my family for having ridiculously long ear hairs. I refuse to follow in his footsteps. Thanks to the Weed Whacker 2.0, I was able to get rid of these ear hairs in such little time with absolute ease. And if I was able to catch my father slipping, he wouldn't have any ear hair remaining either. The performance package also includes the crop soother ball aftershave lotion and of course where would we be without the crop preserver to ensure your family jewels are in good hands and you know manscape always comes through with not one but two free gifts including their boxes and their travel bag that's like a gift on top of a gift so what are you waiting for this is unequivocally the best gift this holiday season so do yourself a favor and click the link in my description go to manscape.com slash chisel and get 20 percent off plus free international shipping on your performance package 5.0 ultra that's manscape.com slash chisel get 20 percent off plus free international shipping only at manscape.com your balls will thank you and now back to your regularly scheduled program whose sister is this why they let her in the ring she just in there hopping around <laughs> Did she get in the ring to box or is she there for the cardio? They're staring each other down. Uh -uh. 
The trainer hasn't issued an order. Stand back! No! No! What's the matter, trainer? Finish her! Is her chin gorilla glued to her sternum? Why is she not picking her head up? Her controller disconnected. She's not even facing her opponent. If I was the referee, I would have called off the fight right there. Clearly, this woman is incoherent. She in the ring trying to box the demon of her past when the demon of her future is standing right in front of her. How are you in the midst of battle and then you hit the reverse? <laughs> reverse. Just put that harlot out of her misery, please. Finish her. Let me go, let me go, let me go, please! Kill her! No! Stupid bitch! She boxes like she's an NPC or novice difficulty in any practice mode of whatever video game. Her trainer needs the lethal injection. She punched herself in the face! She awakened the spirit of John Bradshaw Layfield but decided to clothesline herself! That is her own bicep in her mouth. Her nutritionist said she wasn't getting enough protein, so she turned to self-cannibalism. And if she eaten her own biceps in the ring, I can only imagine what she eats on late nights when she by herself. Pussy. In the end, she didn't even get knocked out. It's as if her body said enough was enough. Shorty was in there looking like a Pokemon that's been poisoned. I have never seen somebody so discombobulated. Somebody get her a ring light in a Galaxy Ultra 21. Get her on OnlyFans. Leave the boxing game alone. Brother on the right never learned how to block in his life. Being a human punching bag. Flexing your pectorals is not defense. Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> What is the charge? Tell me I did not just see that. This man tried to jump out of the ring. Welcome! Punch! What could you possibly have hoped to accomplish here? I've never seen something like this in my life. Stupid fucking dummy! Did he get a hold of the Patara earrings and got pulled towards the cameraman in an attempt to fuse into Vegito? <laughs> I guess not. You would have thought somebody alerted him that his girl was checking his phone in the locker room. And look at the Jeffrey Epstein challenge on his ankle. This man lynched his foot. You son of a bitch! Why? Tell me why! People, this stupid shouldn't be allowed to live. Did he attempt to do a springboard Superman punch? He must have been a time traveler trying to become Roman Reigns before the Samoan himself. But now look at him, looking like Tajiri doing the tarantula on his own soul. Cuba versus Canada in an exhibition boxing match. Daddy, chill. <laughs> God damn, Cuban left hand done sent the referee to the gulag. Man's had no clue he was wearing all white to his funeral. Cuba was getting dominated by Canada, but then the Cuban Missile Crisis Part 2 took place in the boxing ring. <laughs> If it wasn't for the bottom rope, this old timer would have kept falling through the ends of the earth. Who needs an anesthesiologist when you got Cuban left hands? Is your hospital understaffed and over capacity? Who needs anesthesia? Hire a Cuban. Fuck you, bitch. Hey, Eat a dick, old man. Bro. Fuck your life. Bing bang. Get this man to a hospital. Now. The elderly referee was rushed to the hospital. Oh, I missed. Meanwhile, Cuba's still getting cooked. Finish him. I'll fucking do it again. Okay. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no fucking way. He did it again. This Cuban needs to be dealt with. Why does he keep assaulting officials? It's one thing to mistakenly knock out a ref in a fight, but to hit two refs in one fight? Is this man Stone Cold Steve Austin? Does he not follow rules? I knew when I got that Cuban watch in the third grade and then operated on a 117 hour format that Cubans operate on demon time. Man's knocked out more refs than he did opponents. Special guest referees was never created until they saw this Cuban man fight. To make matters worse, after he laid out the first referee, look at the man's head. He slightly rubbed his forehead against the Cuban chin to make sure that he knew that his soul has already left his body. Perhaps this was a warning from the afterlife to not assault referees. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. <laughs> Close 
Cuba would be punished by Canadian hands from Vancouver all the way to Quebec. Enjoy this Saskatchewan nap, pussy. Meanwhile in England, two men do battle in the corner. Do something, you little bitch. Wait a minute, never in my life have I seen somebody's mama run into the ring to cause interference. It's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> Son was dodging all kinds of punches in the corner and then Shelton Benjamin's mama just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Shorty stabbed him so hard with a damn shoe he had to get four stitches in his head. I would never be able to get ready for a fight knowing that this man mama on the outside ready to be a menace. Big mama was 62, you supposed to be collecting social security. But instead she in the ring getting her baby boy's follow up. I'm coming baby. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. <laughs> If I saw this in a movie, I would have left the theater. But it happened in real life. You can't box anymore after this. Your moms came to protect you in the ring. If this what your mama do, I can only imagine what his daddy would have done. Go to my car. Get my other gun. Shoot everybody's ass. All right, woman. Get your big ass up out here, bitch. Jova, you lose. Hey, would you trade $10 to learn how to break into YouTube? I just dropped my very first ebook, Commit to the Commitment of Consistency, how to create a profitable YouTube channel with the very same tools and framework that I use to build my YouTube channel over the course of the past eight years from zero to over 720,000 plus subscribers. So click the link in my description, go to chiseledadonnashop.com and grab your ebook today. $10 to create a platform that you can use for the remainder of your life. What are you waiting for? You mean to tell me you watched the entire video but you haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button and become a member on Patreon or on YouTube to get access to the Discord. We're waiting for you in the Shadow Realm. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Please! Please! What are you waiting for, huh? Oh my god.